Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah, Kelly's here with me. We're gonna have a sister date. We're gonna go get our nails done and then we are going to film. Film. And then maybe something to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Maybe something to eat after nails. Okay. Yeah, okay, so then nails something to eat and then we're going to film a Q&A video which I'm really excited for because I've never filmed a Q&A video and I think it would just be perfect if we film my well the first one together we've never filled, filmed a video together I like know yeah sat down and yeah she's always just like made appearances but yeah this is Kelly Grande, my sister. Uh, a little bit about Kelly. She's 22 years old. She just turned 22 last month on July 9th. And she's a, <laughs> she's a cancer. <laughs> Her social security. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, I'm pretty much with Kelly all the time. We spend uh, like most of my adventures, trips, and everything is with Kelly. Yeah. Except for my last trip that I went to Chicago on my own. But very very exciting Kelly and I are gonna go to Thailand next month but it's already like in what two weeks yeah two weeks it's it's we're gonna go on September 6th to the 11th <laughs> so probably when this video will be going up we'll be in Thailand <laughs> <laughs> shady <laughs> it takes me a while okay, okay maybe, after. <laughs> <laughs> maybe after Thailand <laughs> uh, but yeah so I hope you enjoy our video if you would like to see what a day is like on our sister date please keep on watching so after we got our nails done while well, we got pedicures so we came back home we ate some chipotle and then we just filmed this makeup look right here so if you're interested in watching us get ready and also answer some questions that we were asked on instagram please keep on watching hey <laughs> Okay, so we already moisturized our skin off camera. I use the Origins Ginseng and <laughs> Those are the cats. <laughs> and I use the Mario Badescu. Badesco. Bades Badesco. Badesco. Mario Badesco, I think. <laughs> Okay, yeah. The butter and milk moisturizer. Mm. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be borrowing Kelly's primer. It's the No Pore Blemish. I, I'm, I mean, who put you on? <laughs> uh, all right, so first question. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Our first question is, what are your signs you guys get along so well? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> we like laugh the same. She laughs like me. <laughs> <laughs> our signs. So I'm a Gemini. I'm a Cancer. So we're right next to each other. My birthday is June twentieth, and her birthday is on July 9th. Yeah. So. Uh, what is what does it say? We get we, we get, get along so well. Yeah, that's uh, what you guys see. <laughs> <laughs> so for the most part, we do. But like our signs, when it comes to our signs, I feel like we clash because I'm stubborn and she's she's also stubborn in a di on a different level. Uh -huh. Yeah. So usually when we do get into arguments, I am the one that always has to like bite my tongue and talk to her because true she's stubborn. But um. I feel like we're very like we're different in so many ways but I feel like that's why we get along so well because like things that I sort of like lack my sister has and then things that like she sort of lacks I have so it's just like a Same. mixture of a perfect it's a perfect combination yeah. do you miss me gave my two-week notice today I'm gonna miss you what it's my coworker, Amy oh Aww. yes I am going to miss you Amy but I'm so proud of you for going after what you really are curious about and something that fits your like it's more accommodating to your schedule what is she gonna do what, she's she, gonna work with like kids oh yeah and well so. bless her soul <laughs> <laughs> I work with you. I'm just kidding. next question oh my god you're going too fast with the questions can you let me finish my eyebrows first you said you're faster than me? Yeah, but I'm like, okay, this is it. Laura said, I, I miss you guys so much. When am I going to see you guys again? Ugh, I love these sponges. I mean, it looks dirty, but this is the Morphe sponge. And what do you it mean is, it looks dirty? I cleaned it for you. Well, yeah, but it has concealer on it. Oh. It's dirty, <laughs> but it's so good. I'm going to describe each other in three words. So, you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Okay, okay wait, hold on. Let me finish pouncing. 
<laughs> okay, for sure, one. Um, ambitious. Unique. And loving. I would say loving. Yeah. That's like perfect. Okay. Those three things. Like, pieces. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would describe Kelly as understanding loving but maybe in a different word caring i feel like she to kind of just elaborate on that she chooses to see the best out of people even though sometimes she should i'm just kidding no. yeah no, i i'm actually i mean that um <laughs> she chooses to see the best out of people and i feel like i feel like that's a distinction between me two i, I us two like you choose to see the best out of people and i feel like you just choose to see the best out of every situation yeah yeah Are you know understanding caring and creative with her fashion i feel like she i feel like there's so much that she could be doing with fashion she's very creative when it comes to fashion and trying new things and yeah so those would be the top three uh but another yes, one is <laughs> another one it will be like just in my specific category as like her, her like being a sister to me is patient because you need to be patient <laughs> <your ass. laughs> next question is what was the biggest argument you guys have ever had <laughs> I mean obviously both of us know but I'll go ahead and let Kelly answer this they're mostly about my relationships <laughs> her choices <laughs> in men <laughs> But yeah, it's just because we have, um, like I said, we're both really stubborn. So, and I just, well, I don't know. What do you think? So my, like the part that I took responsibility for is that I was too overprotective and I worried too much. I wanted to trust her so bad to make the right choices. And as an older sister, sometimes it's kind of like, I, I, did, I didn't know if she would know how to make the right choice and then when she didn't make the best choices it would make me disappointed and so I would like the, my, my way of trying to encourage her would bring her down and it would just cause us to not communicate at all but it would mainly about her choices in men for all my little sisters out there you know we just want to do our own thing and we don't want to be told what to do so it all comes from just like <laughs> It all comes from just um like we want to learn from our mistakes and I think that's what um like Mally has learned like just to let me do after a while you know just to let me learn from my mistakes even if they're gonna hurt me in the long run. What is your favorite thing to do when you're both together? One, two, two three, three dance. adventure. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about each other? I would say No, I wanna go first. Go. My favorite thing about Kelly is hands down like what she's taught me, which is like patience and the importance of like really hearing each other out you know yeah i just learned a lot about like the person that i want to be through her because i feel like she's been the person that's given me the biggest like feedback you know because we i if i fight with somebody the most i've ever fought with someone is with her the most i've ever laughed with someone is her everything everything has been with her so she's going to be the person that gives me the best feedback and sometimes that's that like really hurts especially when it's something that like I didn't want to hear but it was really constructive and I was able to like learn from it and grow from it so yeah that's mine what's yours mine would be definitely wait it's a favorite thing right yeah definitely um her personality I just feel like she's so outgoing and she's just such a people person like anyone meets Mally and they just like <laughs> <laughs> and they just like are she's just easy to talk to and you I just feel like there's no matter like who you are you always find a connection with Mallory and I just feel like that's why people love you so much because you're just so outgoing and you're so lovable and you're so friendly and you know that's what I <laughs> you don't even cry <laughs> that's what I love about you yeah Stop. <laughs> tips on how to keep a close and healthy relationship with each other communication um, and then for us, I think it would be like, just like little moments like this or just like on the weekend when we spend time together, we go out for brunch or we just go for dinner or it doesn't even have to be going out. I I think just keeping that open communication, like when you come home from work and like you're tired and even though you're tired, you ask each other about like your days and stuff. Yeah, it's very Sorry. important to like share about like what's going on, appreciate one another like like literally tell each other like i appreciate you for this you know because like little things go a long way like yeah. making you lunch or like 
I don't know, today she cleaned this for me, which I hate doing. So, like, little things like that, like, appreciating one another. Because then if you don't do that, just like in any relationship, like, people start to question, like, how you feel about them. So, everybody, like, loves to get reassured, like, how much you love one another. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, you're almost done. And then there's, like, also, if, um, I know for us, like, sometimes, like, we will, you know, like, there comes a time where you just like get busy and you sort of like lose that communication and it just becomes like somewhat awkward and it just you need to know how to break that ice like quick next question is who is Layla's favorite auntie let's do like the countdown okay ready one okay but like actually be like honest you yeah know? <laughs> ready I'll be a hundred percent honest perfect one, one two, two three, three. me <laughs> Layla, we'll leave it up to you. The biggest pet peeve from each other, I think we should answer. From each other? Oh my god. You're gonna make me answer this on camera? Yeah. <laughs> she just leaves her clothes on the floor and I have to pick them up. Because you know, when you're on the go, you just go. My biggest pet peeve of Kelly's is that homegirl likes to pretend like she doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> she, she just like thinks I'm like an uber or something like I don't like to drive I don't like to drive so yeah. it just doesn't really make sense when like I want her to drive somewhere and then she says she can't for whatever reason and then the next day she'll drive herself somewhere that's just equally as far no to the mall the San Anita mall <laughs> exactly <laughs> can you do a split on the <laughs> tell the most memorable memory of your childhood you want to go first? No, you can go first. I have one. I always tell this story, but I'm going to tell it again so the whole world can hear it. So, I, you were six? No, 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 no. Like seven. I, I was like seven. You were like five. That particular day, Mally's like, get ready because my boyfriend's going to come pick us up like later on that day. <laughs> and being like, you know, so small and stuff, I actually believed her. So, I was like, oh my gosh, like we have to get ready. So, we put on a dress. We put on some heels. <laughs> We got like our little purses and then we went outside to like our our like front little yard I guess. And Mally had me waiting out there with her for like 20 minutes. She's just like each car that would pass by, she'd be like, oh like he's coming, that's not him, but he's coming, don't worry, you know? <laughs> and I would literally just be waiting out there with my heels and my purse, like just waiting, waiting for her boyfriend, <laughs> imaginary boyfriend to come pick us up. And she's like, he's in a limo, you know, like saying all this stuff. <laughs> We would just be watching every car pass by and I'm like, where's your boyfriend? Eventually she's like, oh, he's not coming. Like, let's just go. <laughs> I'll never forget that story. Yeah, my favorite story is not really a story. It's it's the same moment that would happen over and over and over again. So you would see llamas in your dream? No. <laughs> yeah, that too. But I was a troublemaker. And so Kelly was a crybaby. And so like when we, were, when we would get in trouble, like... Well, when I would get in trouble, she would start crying, and I would do exactly this. I'd be like, she would like have this fear in her eyes, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna start crying, and I would be like, please don't cry, please don't cry, Kelly, please don't cry. And I'm like, my mom's gonna get. I would talk so fast, like, my mom's gonna get mad at me, please, please. I'm like, please, she's gonna like <laughs> do something to me, <laughs> and then she would, she would be like, okay, okay. <laughs> What's your favorite food? The both of us have the same favorite food. Yeah, Italian. Italian food. To be exact, our favorite restaurant is this one little like low-key restaurant in LA, like right across from the Grove. It's called Andre's. Then. It's between Target and Whole Foods. Bomb. We love it. Okay, my question to to you is, if if you had to like rename me, give me like a new name, knowing like who I am, my personality, and everything like that, like what what name would you give me? Shaquila. <laughs> Shaquilla was actually the name of my best friend in elementary school girl if you're watching this for, for any reason like I've been trying to find you on Facebook everywhere cannot find you so I just feel like you're always talking about her I know because I miss her I'm yeah. just kidding that's not what I'm I would name you Shaquilla though if you're watching this I love you and I miss you I would probably name you I would name you like Patty. The <gasps> <laughs> I would name you like um, Mr. Phillips, remember? <laughs> Shut up. She would make me cry. You would make me cry. You're so mean. <laughs> oh, uh, we would play like a game. And I was real. I'm and I'd be like, your name is Mr. Phillips for the game. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was really sensitive and she would just make me feel like I was a boy. She'd be like, yeah, your name is Mr. Phillips. And she would see me getting super sad and she would be like, yeah. Like, <laughs> she would like, like just push it up on me and I would start crying. Just so you guys get a little glimpse. Mr. Phillips, of, if you're out there. Mallory. I'm just kidding. The last question is, would you guys be, would you guys be friends if you weren't sisters? One, two. <laughs> okay. If she says no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. Are you mad, Mr. Phillips? <laughs> day and night, and day, all I got to say is it's about us, your girl, and all the things I put in you. I think it's all.